fire signs to your monthly chakra reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Welcome, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Okay, in the collective energy, we have passion. The passion. The passion card is talking about I quietly sizzle and shine. Nice. Are you are my daily actions supporting my real passion? What am I willing to stand for? Following your passion, being authentic, taking a stand for yourself, being acknowledged, feeling ostracized by family, friends, being emotionally centered, strong feminine energy. And a happy outcome. Keywords to this are passion, bravery, and royalty. Well, I was going to say loyalty, but it's royalty. Being royal. Okay. Okay, guys. You are to connect to your feelings of a passion for your position. Follow your instincts for you know intuitively what is right for yourself. You know what's right. You don't have to worry about what everybody else thinks, right? Let's not worry about what they what they care about. We know what we desire. We know what we are passionate for. Coming through with the sacral chakra over here, really getting that sacral chakra open, going, this is what I desire, and this is where my passion is, right? <clears throat> so I am present. Nice. You are present. This is where your higher understanding is under, you know, you're in that higher understanding. This is your, a part of your crown chakra. You are in the knowing. Crown chakra is located at the top of your head. This is saying, because I understand from a deeper level that each of us have angels and spirit guides that walk with us in the higher realms. We also have an aspect of ourselves that resonates in this higher state of consciousness. The I am, I am passionate about what I am passionate about, and I know what it is. And this holds true about everything that comes through wisdom, and it resonates pure love and healing energy, and is, is the angelic and divine aspect of your soul. Your I am pres presence pours in its love and wisdom upon you, and you are being asked to open and receive its divine light. So what it's asking you is, you know exactly what it is. Keep up the good work. You know where you're going and you know what you want. Celebrating your hard work and commitments to your higher state of being. Right? I am presence shines brightly through me for all to see. That is the affirmation of the card. Nice. Yeah. This is your purpose. I know what I'm here to do. That's the passion. Your passion comes from your purpose through I am presence. Having the understanding that this is what I'm passionate about, so this must be where my purpose is. I know what I'm here to do. I know what I want to do. And where my passion is is what I want to do and is what I'm going to do. Make a vision board. And it could be just what you want. Right? Because remember, the desire of the, of the sacral chakra is the I want card. So whatever it is you want and you know that this could lead to a purpose for you. That's what you're saying. Make that vision board. Put it up there so it gets in your mind. I want this house. I have a purpose. Maybe I need a two-bedroom house because I'm having another baby. That is my purpose. Maybe I want a three-bedroom house because I want one for my video game room, my TV room, an extra room when mom and dad come to hang out. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, everybody has what they need and what, you know, when it comes to wants. I want this car, so I'm going to put a picture up on my, in my, on my refrigerator. You can make your refrigerator with magnets, right? And put, make your own vision board. Put up that car that you want. Look at it all the time. Keep it in your mind, in mind, in sight, so that way you can manifest upon it. If it's money, take a picture of money. I want a thousand dollars. Take a picture of a thousand dollars. Make a picture of a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? You can draw it. However, 
put it on the refrigerator to remind yourself, what am I working for? What is my passion to make $1,000? Be the tiger. You're being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you're capable of doing so. And remember, when you're walking by this, your intention is, this is mine, this is what I have, and this is what I'm working for. I don't put them up here because it's just some, like, off dream where it's like, one day. No, you're saying this is going to be mine. This is what I'm working towards. There is no one day because one day is after another day, after another day, after another day that never comes. No, I'm building the foundations and the stepping stones for today because I already envisioned driving this car. I already envisioned living in this house. I already envisioned making this money. I can feel the money when I walk by in my hands and I'm so happy and then make sure that you're also keeping the energy alive of how do you feel when you're driving this car very happy how do you feel when you walk into this house oh my gosh how do you feel holding that thousand dollars in your hands oh my gosh or check or see it coming through your bank however it is it makes you happy keep that happiness keep that feeling you want true love how do you feel when you're with this true love they make you feel oh my gosh I'm grinning from ear to ear. I'm blushing. I'm like ecstatic. Keep that. And every time you look at them, keep that feeling. It's part of manifesting. We'll get to those right through the manifestation videos. So this is where you're keeping your leadership. You know who you are. You're the tiger. The eye of the tiger. And great. Okay, so here we go. Keeping your eye on the prize. That's really what that is. The eye of the tiger. The tiger's always keeping his eye on the prize. Thank you. Yes. Never have any self-restricting point of views. Don't limit yourself to what you think that you can have and you can't have. Because with the devil card coming out, it's just saying you're, there could be restrictions. You holding yourself back from self-limiting beliefs. Telling yourself that I can't have this or I can't have that. No, you have the passion. You have the purpose. The purpose is what you want, right? Hey, people could even say, so what's the purpose, you you know, of you having that? Uh, I want it. <laughs> that's good enough. Hey, that's all it needs, right? It's like, it's not like you have to have like some overall purpose, right? Well, so what makes you really want that car? It's really cool and I really want it. Yeah. It even has great gas mileage. Right? Even if it doesn't, who cares? Maybe it's a V8 and you're like, oh my God, it's going to cost me $1,000 to put gas in this thing. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I want it. It's all that matters. It's what you want. It's what you're passionate about. That's why we have to be careful of not letting other people tell us what we can have or try to restrict our dreams. Oh, number one thing I always tell everybody. Come on, guys. You all, all know it. Keep your manifestations and your dreams your your wishes to yourself unless they're on the same page. Right? Because we don't need to hear, well, my God, that's going to cost you an arm and a leg to drive that car. It's in your business what it cost me to drive that car. Where did I, well, hold on, wait. Huh? Stop? I don't remember you filling up my gas tank, so why the beep? Do you care? See, but why do people do that? Hmm, we don't know, right? Over opinionated in your business. That's why I always say, keep your manifestations to yourself. They think they're helping. No. That kind of negativity is not helping. You can tell the difference between when someone's trying to help you with a situation and someone is definitely just driving it down. Okay. Abundance. You're getting the gift. The gift's already on its way. You got the Ace of Pentacles. It's already on its way. I mean, you already have the judgment call here. You already have the inner calling. It's already on its way. You're just waiting for the horn to blow. Yeah. Your vision board's already, it's already in the making. You're just waiting for this calling. The inner calling. The call. The good news. Just waiting for the extras. Right? You say, I'm just waiting for the extras. <laughs> Some of you might even say, 
you know, I'm going to go ahead and do my vision board because I know it's on its way. I just need a couple more paychecks before I can actually, you know, save this money and stuff. That's fine. Who knows between that time and this time you may, you know, it's saying you have a gift coming. You might even be gifted some money, you know, that can get it on its way. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody, but you see what I'm saying. So be sure that when you're capable of doing so, you are the leader. Okay. This is where you're going to keep the harmony, you know, the harmony and everything together because you are the co-creator of your own manifestation. You are the co-creator, right? You have the development. This is where the growth and the evolution and the actions coming through, taking action on your manifestation, right? Because through manifestation, we have to take action through law of attraction that just attracts what you want. Now you want to manifest it from the 5D to the 3D, so you need to take action, you know, and this is where you're, you being the tiger over here is really going to make this swiftly come in. And I do, I, I really feel like for a lot of you, this is actually going to come in a little swifter than you realize. Um, I know it's kind of crazy. It's, I, I think it's going to actually be here faster than for a lot of you. It's actually going to be here quicker than you think. I mean, because you have the judgment call, uh, card plus the ace of pentacles plus the swift action of the eight of wands. Just watch any self-limiting beliefs that it won't happen or listen to other people who are trying to restrict your dreams. I, I, that's really what I'm... And, and look, you even have the, the imprint. So... Right. Because it looks like you're already looking out, waiting for it. Your progress is already on its way and it's swiftly progressing towards you. So your ship is definitely coming in, my friends. And then, plus you have three major arcanas on the board, plus the ace. Telling you guys, don't think negative about the situation. Watch the devil. It's just the negative side of, you, of self, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm telling you, this, this is coming in way quicker. And I have the emperor at the bottom. Another, oh my gosh, and the high priestess. So the next card coming out is that. And at the bottom of the deck, it, oh yeah, you guys are getting this fast. What is on this side? Yeah, just rest easy. You have three more major arcanas coming out. So this is already divinely set up. The, the universe is already on its way to bring this to you. Guys, keep your chakras going. You guys are in a great energy. Um, just make sure that you are resting. Get the rest that you need. Make sure that you are meditating. Do you have the moon over here as well? That's another major arcana. What the? For the nine of cups coming out with the hermit. Oh my gosh. And then the fool. Look at all these major arcanas. And then the Ten of Cups flies out. Yeah, this is already, yeah. And then you have the Six of, of Pentacles saying the universe is already, yeah, this is already in the making. This is, and then the Magician, you've been manifesting. Yeah. And then the Knight of Swords, here it comes, swiftly, swiftly moving in. Your manifestation is swiftly moving in with new ideas and passion. Yeah, there is the passion again. Just make sure that you're passionately doing what you need to do because the temperance is there as well. Yeah, there's too many major arcanas and it's almost every card I'm pulling is almost the same card again. I mean, think about it. You have the swiftness of the Eight of Wands, and then you have the Knight of Swords coming in. That's two swift cards. Yeah. You're good on this because you got this. I would just watch negative influences with either in your mind or within yourself or from outside influences. And, you know, I don't, it's not so much that it's going to... It's already on its way, so it's not going to affect it coming in. You guys are way beyond that. That's That was... That's yesterday's news. The gift is already on its way. It's not like the chair is going to turn around and be like, oh, well, hold on a second. I got to go backwards now. No, it doesn't do that. It's coming. It's just that I think the thing is, is that you just don't want people telling you negative things. This is just a bummer. Just watch the self-negative talk no matter what, right? Because it keeps the chakras going, you know what I mean? And it will keep that... You know, keeping the negative away will make that chariot come a little quicker if it's already on its way. You never know. You never know that. We don't know 100% everything. Make clear, calm thinking your goal. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? The devil says, that's it. That's it. I don't, you know, that was it right there. Just be cool, be calm. That's it. Yep, 
Part next is take time to tune into your body and recognize its messages that it's trying to send you. That's it. And the messages are stay calm, stay cool, get your rest, right? And wait for this gift to come in because it's, it's literally saying this gift is coming faster than you think. And I'm not really 100% positive for everyone. I just want to make this a note, okay? Because, like I said, we don't know everything. I can't tell you that it manifested faster than it was supposed to, right? Nobody really knows that. What I can say is, for most of you, I think you thought it was going to take longer, but it's actually coming in faster. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's coming in faster than you thought it was going to come in. And for others of you, if you're like, oh, I've been waiting seven years, I don't know how the hell that's going to come in fast. It means it's speeding up. It's speeding up now, okay? We always have to look at these because they're general readings, right? If this was a personal reading, I would say this is 100% coming in faster than you thought it was. But because it's a general reading, I will definitely say that whatever you were doing, and it might have been taking you two, three years to get this, it's literally picked up the pace now, okay, to come to you. Because like I said, you have the Ace of Pentacles. It's it's in your hands now. Okay, so if you have been giving yourself self-doubt that it is coming, and that's where the devil is coming in because I've been waiting so long, you can now be rest assured, okay, that your ships are coming in. And that does not mean that it's coming today, and it does not mean that it's coming this month. It just means that here it comes. It's now moving at a faster pace. That's what I'm trying to say. You guys still might have to wait two, three, four, you know, weeks for this, right? But what Spirit is trying to say is on this journey, make sure that you are speaking positively about yourself, right? And not listening to others who have negative stuff to say, okay? Okay, guys, you guys got this. Till next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.